The land-grant mission of the university and the college is to improve the livelihoods of individuals and communities throughout the state through research, education, service, and any creative work. The Hunter Chan Community Interpretive Park request came in from the committee. They were looking for help in terms of visioning how the Hunter Chan community could be turned into a public open space. Huntertown was an African-American free town. Communities like this developed throughout the Bluegrass region right after the Civil War. Landowners sold or leased or gave property to former slaves, and you get these relatively small communities on the edge of large farms throughout the Bluegrass. So Huntertown's one of those communities. For phase one, I taught a group of students to vision this park as a whole. It was very inspiring to be able to collaborate with the community members working in this class. We got to see and hear like firsthand experiences, a lot about what it was like to grow up here and being able to see the people that lived here, be able to hear their stories. It really made it a lot more effective for me to be able to design and interpret the park. After class, I hired a group of students to further work on pulling one vision that were presented to the community members. It's been a really great experience to be able to continue interning with Jay Young and to see where the project is going and see it develop over the past couple of years. One kind of aspect of the whole Hunter Down project was proposing a bioswale. For phase two, I've also brought in some colleagues to see if he could help strengthen the storytelling of the history of Hunter Town. This is where we were able to collaborate with a couple of more folks and specialists. And that's where Professor Dan Vivian comes in for historic preservation. Professor Chad Ebby comes in from School of Visual Arts. Our project is preserving the history of the community and the idea is to create a park that is available for recreation, for pleasure, for enjoyment. It's a civic space within the community, but the history of Huntertown is integrated into that park, and so it will be available and people will become aware of it simply by using this site. The main way in which I've been involved is developing the content for interpretive signage that's gonna be installed here at the park. And with that information, Ryan Hargrove in my department helped out with designing wayfinding signage placed throughout the park. My role in the project is working with students to design the website for the interpretive park. And we're going to be using an audio platform that's called Echoes. And what it allows you to do is to take a sound and place it in the landscape at a specific point. And then when users are on their smartphones and they're using the Echoes app, simply walking through the site will trigger those sounds. A tremendous amount of work has been done by the community in terms of fostering awareness of Huntertown, doing oral histories with some of the former residents and descendants. We are working right now to edit and clean up these oral histories. So there are conversations that are happening from the residents and the descendants of the residents of the community here. And also there can be sort of additional ambient sound added to sort of add an extra layer of experience to the site. The history of this community will live on because there are people that care about it, there are people that are invested in it, but because of the interpretive media that will be installed here, you know, this will be more than simply a recreational park. It's going to be a place where people are going to discover things, learn things, see opportunities, connect with the place and its history. One of my hopes is that this becomes a site of reflection and contemplation and hopefully prompting some conversations that ultimately are about creating a healthier and more just, uh, more equitable community.